Good afternoon, traders. This is a weekly day trading recap. I day trade a small cash account with Webull, and this is for the month of March 2021, the very first week from the 1st to the 5th. The week is over. I'm all done with trading. I took seven trades this week, which isn't a lot, but the results are actually my best ever. So just goes to show you don't need to take a bunch of trades to have a good strong week. I moved the account up almost 6% this week. My p and is 35.81 for what's essentially, you know, throughout the week was a $575 probably on average account. It's ended now up over $600. I think these results are great. And, and really, actually, these results are not going to be uh, repeatable regularly. This was an ex kind of an extreme week. I did everything strictly to my plan and my strategy, and that's why I was able to kind of reap the benefits of this abnormally good week. But I definitely do not expect a week like this to continue. Uh, my win rate this week was ridiculous. It's something I don't even pay attention to because it's really not that important when you're doing this all or nothing to our trading. Uh, all you need is a win rate of about 50% to do well with to our trading. And even a 40% win rate will keep you green um, or, or at least very close to break even. And if I can stay in the 50 to 60% win rate range, I'll be happy. This week, after seven trades, I was 87.5% uh, winning. And that's pretty ridiculous. And it's not something that I expect to continue. Um, I think this is just a combination of doing exactly what my plan tells me to do and some luck kicking in. You know, just things happen to be good this week. So I think that's the beauty of if you stick to your plan and your strategy, eventually the stars are going to align as well. And you're going to you're going to have some um, great easy trades that are going to build a cushion for your account. So that's what I think this is going to do. I don't think the rest of the month is going to be like this. If it is, or if there's even another week like it, it'll be great. But this is essentially a cushion for the rest of the month, and uh, I, you know, I may expect to be green for the rest of the month, but uh, not this green. And you know, on my red days, this this will provide a nice little cushion for me. So that's pretty much it for the results on my spreadsheet. Let's take a look at Weeble. This is pretty interesting because uh, I'll show you all my trades in a second for the week, but every single trade I took except for one out of all those seven trades was with a NASDAQ stock, and that wasn't intentional. That's not how I pick my stocks to trade. If you watch my live trade recaps, you can see exactly how and why I picked the stocks that I trade. But it uh, just so happened that you know they worked out that way this week. And so I said, let me look at the daily chart of the NASDAQ index and see what happened because I know that pretty much every indices this week sold off hard. And that was true for NASDAQ as well. This arrow is a trend line that I just based on the low of Monday and the high of today. So you could see the overall direction is extremely down, extremely descending, yet I had the best week of my day trading career. So, and again, that is not a brag because I don't, not only do I not expect that kind of a thing to continue, I don't think these two things are related. And that's really why I like trading this way is because I don't want to be dependent on the direction of the market. You know, for me, I trade at 4 a.m. and I don't know what the direction of the market that day is going to be. There's no way to know at the beginning of the day. Even when you trade the market open, how do you know what direction the market is going to be? And it often changes throughout the day. So the idea behind my type of trading is I don't want to be influenced by the direction of the market. I don't want to need to know the direction of the market and I don't want it to be dependent on news and hype and all that kind of stuff that's going around so I think this week is a perfect example of how independent my trading style is from all of the other stuff that goes on in the stock market and that's what I want to do that's how I want it to be so last thing I'll show you is my account results in Weeble so that you can see that everything matches um, so there's my P and L for the week. Down that number and Weeble slightly higher, even though like my uh, net account value matches exactly. I'll tell you why the number is slightly higher. Is just because there were two free stocks that I received from Weeble this week. Thank you for that. And they were with ZNGA and F, and I sold both of those, and uh, you know that added to the account size, but the P and L you know difference was only uh, what is that 70, uh, 76 cents. So that's the only difference there. Other than that, like all of this stuff is just my day trading. Um, if you see a small number like this, it's because th then I traded that stock multiple times and uh, like this was one loss and one win. 
And I think the same thing. He, actually, this was one win, but it was this extremely low risk trade. I think it was like a 1% risk trade. And normally I traded with about 5% risk. So I think I covered everything for the week. And again, I just want to repeat, I don't think that this is going to continue. But uh, this should guarantee a green month for me. I mean, things have to get really bad. And the way I trade, I can only take three trades a day. And most of my trades, the risk is around 5%. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here's my risk percentage. You could see I had a couple of outliers there. But you could see that most of the time the risk is 5%. And then over here, I also had a an outlier on the downside, a 1% risk. And here, this one's about 5%. So even if I lose a bunch of trades, it's going to be very hard to wipe out these gains. Uh, I just don't take uh, very high risk trades. Even these ones that uh, you see the risk here is 11.57%. And here's a 10% risk. That's not That wasn't like an intentional, let me take a risky trade. That is just based on the chart pattern and how the candlesticks form. So it's based on the volatility of the stock. And there's no way for me to really know. Um, you know, the, they move so quickly that I don't know until I'm in the stock that the risk is that high. But I think on average, my, my risk will probably be around 5 to 6%. So that means that, you know, no matter what happens, uh, it's going to be pretty hard to knock out these gains. Famous last words. So we'll see what happens throughout the month. But uh, it's definitely been an interesting week and uh, my best week ever. So it'd be nice to see even something remotely like this continue. Let me know if you have any questions about these trades or any others. Again, every single one of these trades is on my YouTube channel. You can watch and see exactly what happened in those trades and why I, I chose those stocks. So hopefully this helps you guys. I always like to leave you with, no matter what, always take your stop loss. Always honor your profit target, and you should be green in the long run. That's what I did this week, and that combined with, uh, I guess, the day trading gods you know, looking down on me uh, for once <laughs> ended in this uh, result. So all right, guys, take care, and I will see you on Monday for more day trading.